Today we are going to see how to make the dynamic linear facade lighting or media facade. So I'm going to show you very simply within few minutes how you can make dynamic lighting design in very easy steps. Okay, so we are going to make this in uh, enemy or you can talk about that flash, the old flash. Now it's enemy for Adobe enemy. So let's see, let's start with this now. So at first we are going to um, open a file, new file, and we'll just modify the width and height as, as you want as per your images as per you what you're going to make. So let's see we make already the file. So you can see here. Now I have a layer in the timeline. I'm going to change it as a background, as an image where I'm going to put my images. From import storage, I'm going to pick one of the images that I select already so this is going to be there i'm going to make some lighting effect on this let's adjust so now let's take another layer we'll give it as a linear the name because we'll put the light on it so let's see now we'll take the pen tool and we'll draw some linear line as as you want the lighting effect if you as per your requirement so we are we'll put the horizontal line and to create some design for the dynamic lights so let's let's do some lines here then we'll do the effect and all other things by step by step so i'm using the pen tool here uh, you can use the line also so just simply you just do the pen tool and do the create the line as per your requirement so i just shortcutly i'm just showing you all so now i already make the pen tool but it is uh, a lines uh, we cannot create any effect so we need to modify the line first then go to modify shape then um, convert line into fills okay so now it is fills now but it is very tiny line so we are going to make a little bit of bolder so again shape and expand fill we'll make it one pixel expand as you can see now so we'll make it another layer to um, import the effect okay so because we need it to make it mask so we are making another layer we are giving it name the effect now we'll import the video you can see import video the video file the effect file must be with flb we, other all the format will not work here so i already created some flb format embedded video let's see this is one of my effect uh, i downloaded from the youtube and convert it to the flb you can do that simply whatever effect you want download it now you can see I'm going to mask the both layer from linear to effect. You can see it's already masked. You can see the effect, but uh, we need to make it a little bit more timeline, the frame. I'm going to click and insert keyframe. So the timeline I have a longer one, so I can play the video. Now let's see we are playing the first video, how it will look like. As you can see, the color is changing already so the effect is already creating light is color is changing already as look like linear lights already so we'll create more effect we'll import more effect let's just until i think this much is enough so i'll break it here i'll just click and make it inside keyframe so the video will break here yes then i'll unlock the layer and delete this video now click on the same frame again go to file import then click import video embed and browse we'll select some other video let's click this circle effect so we'll see how's the effect going to be okay now next next finish now i'll just adjust the video as per my effect i'll make it a smaller so let's adjust as per my requirement size wherever i have the lights so you can adjust it just with the adjustment tools okay now it's I, I just lock the layer so it is again masked automatically okay so now you can see the effect you can see already it's because we mask before already we don't need to mask it again we just need to unlo unlock and lock the layer to change the effect so we'll we'll add one more effect now i think this much enough now again same pol pol procedure we'll delete the effect again same thing will follow we'll import one more videos from import import video embed browse and they will select the videos okay 
so we select the videos next 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 finish now again we'll adjust as per our size so now what we'll do again just lock the frame I mean lock the layer it's working now as you can see the beautifully light is working so you can create any type of facade lighting or media facade effect just download the video or if you have any video effect from any one of your old defect if you don't have just download it okay download it from the YouTube and most important thing is you need to convert it to FLB without converting it to FLB it will not embed with uh, your effect so I'll just cut it with the extra um, timeline extra frame so uh, because I wanted to make it very short video so I can show you the effect now whatever whatever extra frame is there I'm just removing all the extra frame so select all the frame and remove frames that's it done now it is here I lock the uh, layer again after locking the layer I need to publish it so I'm going to click the file then go to publish setting so you can see you can normally I, I like to take it win projector or SWF so here you can select the win projectors but I will take it flush so let's click flush and select you can select the folder wherever you want to save click save ok then we'll click again file then publish so you can see it's publishing now let's have a look how it will look like on the published the published file here it is now SWF so just click and click that of flush then click ok it will open now you can see the one we have done the facade lighting effect it's already showing so it is very simple and you can make it as you want there is no hassle if you have any queries if you want to know something more details kindly let me know I'm going to show it to you so this is it if you have anything to ask kindly let me know